Well, it's that time of year again. The clash between the two state Georgia and South Carolina's football teams hit the field tomorrow in Columbia. But tonight fans are partying here at the state line. I right now you can hear the live music behind me i am joined right now by the georgettes these ladies came all the way from athens this event yes it's fun but it's also a fundraiser the money going to charity and it's for both teams y'all know i'm a georgia grad though i'm in my red got these ladies here with me and we got something to say to you guys one two three go down looking good hey carolina and georgia fans it'd be sticking his finger out too look getting pumped up for the 25th anniversary of border bash hey, hey, hey. last year the event was over in north augusta Tonight, it's back at the Augusta Common downtown. Vendor Virginia Kaysen, my probably 10th year, is glad it's back in the Garden City. This is just beautiful. Right. There, it was just too much dirt. And she's expecting a big crowd because of how well the Georgia did last year. What do most people buy? What are they looking for when they come? A deal. Glue Stick Music, owned by Joe Stevenson and his wife Emily, organizes the event. It's, you know, a little bit of everything except football. And the fun gets rowdier as the night goes on. Family friendly, you know, especially in the early hours. The cheerleaders are here taking pictures, signing autographs, doing all that. And then as, you know, the night goes on, it, it turns into the big party. And it's more than a big party. Raised over $900,000 for local children's charities you know we want to celebrate that what people don't quite realize with border bash is it is a fundraiser it's yeah. just a, it's an awesome you know fun fundraiser he names just some of the charities border bash has helped in the past child enrichment you know ronald mcdonald house 12 bands of christmas they're just you know basically anything that's doing with bettering lives of children in our community their board of directors handles grant requests and the process to decide where the money goes and they have a great thing it's a bulldog club and the gamecock club they all work together and so really they get the, the credit um, for, for doing this thing. I just get to be lucky and, and you know, do the interviews. <laughs> I know Brendan didn't like seeing all that red, our sports director of South Carolina grad, so we've got some healthy rivalry in our newsroom as well. Border Bash goes on tonight until 1030. You heard them, parents. It gets a little rowdier as the night goes on, but right now, very family friendly. Tickets $15 at the door. Come out and have a good time. Live in Augusta, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6. All right, Ashley, you can tell she's a Georgia grad. She's wearing that red News Channel 6 shirt.